guys welcome back to my channel once again it's another vlog so i believe it's vlogmas day eight in today's video i'm going to show you guys how to revamp and color a kelly wig with frontal this is a requested video and i don't have any hair coloring tutorial on my channel and since it has been requested a couple more times i decided to do it on camera for those of you who have been requesting that i do a video on how to dye hair this video you must watch it okay so because i'm going to dye this hair i am not going to put it in water first i'm not going to do a whole lot of things i'm just going to go straight to dyeing it so she applied a lot of glue on the frontal that, that she wore it several times this side of the frontal lace is really hard so i'm going to apply this conditioner from my olive oil relaxer box around this side to soften the net and get out the excess glue then we can go ahead to dye the hair so that once i'm done dyeing the hair this side would have also worked on would be worked on and then we wash everything together frontal is really hard guys it wasn't taken care of at all we have a lot of work to do on this frontal see all these nuts i don't know if you can see but we are going to work magic on it these are the dyes i'm going to be using i'm going to be using this particular dye and then this is my developer 12% volume you guys i don't really like to do 25% 20% all those kind of i just use one and um it all depends on the amount of powder i use so this is the powder i use to bleach my hair so this is for the bleaching and then this is for the dyeing the toning of the color if you want the the hair to dye faster you just put in more developer and if you don't want to just put less and whilst you are working you have to work faster because when you start from the back it's going to dye and then by the time you get to the front maybe the back color will be much deeper or deep if i'm using the right english but the dark part is going to bleach faster than the front so just always make sure that if you're working for clients make sure to ask them what they want and then once you're working then you know how to go around with it this client left me to do whatever i would suit her so i don't have any difficulties whatsoever i'm just going to make sure to do my best on this week so i'm just going to mix it and by mixing it also see i don't do measuring i don't i just eyeball it the amount of powder i use equals the amount of um developer i use i mix it and then i start using it on the hair i don't really measure so all those who have been measuring it see i feel like it's just a waste of time even though sometimes it might work if you are doing maybe layers in the hair maybe you want the dark the bottom part to be lighter than the middle to be this that would be fine but i honestly i don't measure okay
and you see there are some kind of lumps in there you want to make sure that if you have any dye like this you have to mash it mash it to make it smooth very smooth before you add your developer now everything is smooth i'm going to put in my developer I start by putting in this much and then I mix it if it's not enough then I go back in and add more if it's okay then I just leave it you see it's kind of thick so I'm going to put in a little bit of developer And guys please never leave your dye on for let's say like as i'm mixing it like this then i'm busy doing something along the process and i'll just leave it and go and do it please never do that you are spoiling it even with this i can still go in and add more developers so it all depends on how you want it or how your client wants the hair dyed this one wants a bit of honey blonde and um no more blonde so it will be like highlights but most of the time if i'm doing highlights um i don't let it the the dye stay on the hair for long once i get the desired color that i want i just wash it off okay so now the dye is ready
Can you guys see the color now? Can you guys saw the difference when I added the rubber? Perfect color. This is the color now. See the highlights. So I'm going to wash the hair, treat it, and then I'll come back and show you guys how to style it. If you don't know how to treat hair, I have a couple of videos here. I'm going to insert it in the teaser and also check the description for such videos. But I love the color. It's really pretty. So this is the final look, the final color. You guys can see. It's very beautiful, honey blonde. And with the lace, this side had a lot of glue. But I used the conditioner on it, so all the glue is no more there. Now that the hair is treated and the color, everything is looking good, I'm going to go ahead and style this hair. Look at the color. Very, very, very beautiful. And I didn't dye everything. I didn't make it complete. As you can see in here because she didn't want everything dyed she wanted a bit of highlight i've run out of curl activator so today i'm just going to be using these two products the bell star detangling whip spray and then the camphor curl keeper i'll just be using these two for the hair now with this one i'm going to mix it in water I'm going to pour a bit of this inside my spray bottle, mix it with water, then I'm going to spray it on the hair before we add on the curl keeper and then comb the hair. I always like to work in sections when I'm um, adding the curl keeper and the spray, the water to it, just to make the curls pop out. And you guys can tell with the way I dyed this hair, the curl pattern is still in place. If you keep the dye on for so long you're going to destroy the beautiful curl patterns of your curl but if it's a straight hair or body wave you can just leave it on as long as you want but if you want this honey blonde color don't leave it on for too long